warning everybody coming from the back, Luke and Jacob and anybody else. All right. Oh, look how nice you all are facing, facing the congregation. You actually have to turn and face me. What? Good morning. How about my, you know what, I, I just put this on today. How about this? What do you, th what do you think my stole? This is called a stole. What, why do you think I have this on today? Look at it and see what it looks like. What do you think these are? Candles. Candles. Okay. Uh, Nathan thinks he's got it. We got it. So if I had one that just had two, I would wear this today, right? So four Advent candles. So this is the season, and each Sunday, somebody different gets to light the Advent candles, and I actually need somebody to light it on the 18th. Go home and ask. Well, you already did. Oh, you will. Okay. And you want to. All right. We're all taken care of. We're good. Okay. So the deal is here this morning. We're all together for children's sermon. Then you're going to go back to your seats, and we have communion, which is lovely. Then afterwards is what? practice rehearsal for the big program next week does anybody know does anybody know yet what it's called what's it called lights camera Action. christmas lights camera christmas so each each sunday now while we're getting ready for christmas this day after worship you're going to practice the next sunday we have this special program but each week I get to read one of my very favorite stories. And do you know what happened? Maybe you all know. I mean, maybe you know who this is. <laughs> Somebody from the church sent me a new Christmas book. But I'd already done it for today. So it's going to show up. Do you remember last week, those of you here, I read, I read my book and it was kind of shabby and it was all falling apart. Somebody sent me a new one. So we'll get to see that. But not now. This morning, we get to, we get to hear this story. It's really for little bitty kids because it's a hard book, but I still love it. And it's called The Animal's Christmas. It comes from a French fable, which is a story that tells a truth, but in a different sort of way. So it's the story, and we actually sing it sometimes in worship. See if this sounds familiar to you. Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable rude. The friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. Okay. What do you think about the donkey? Do you know anything about the donkey in this story? What do you think? Who rode on, yeah, Nathan, who rode on the donkey? Um, Joseph. Jo Ma jo well, Mary, we think Mary probably rode on it and Joseph walked with her. Said, I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I carried his mother uphill and down. I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I said the cow, all white and red. I gave him my manger for his bed. I gave him my hay to pillow his head. I said the cow, all white and red. I said the sheep with the curly horn. I gave him my wool for a blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I said the sheep with the curly horn. I said the dove from the rafters high. I coo, right? That's how doves go. I cooed him to sleep so he would not cry. I cooed him to sleep, my mate and I. I said the dove from the rafters high. And then it ends with this. And every beast by some good spell in the stable dark was glad to tell of the gift he gave Emmanuel, of the gift he gave Emmanuel. And Emmanuel is one of the names for Jesus, and it means God is with us. And so that's what we believe. Well, thanks for being such good listeners. Let's have a prayer. You'll go back to your seats. And then, wait, don't go yet. Then what happens after worship? We're all going to be up here. Lights, camera. You got it. All right, let's pray. Thank you, God, for these kids and for all the children of this church and this community and the whole wide world. Help us this season to remember that Jesus came for everyone for everyone alive. Amen.